In this demonstration, we're going to look at in-place e-discovery. Many organizations need to search mailboxes for specific content when they are perform compliance audits. And as part of the data loss prevention strategy, you might need a way to identify data in users' mailboxes that might violate the organization's compliance policy. Exchange Server 2016 provides a way to search through users' mailboxes called in-place e-discovery. It was first introduced in Exchange Server 2013 and is a success at the multi-mailbox search in Exchange Server 2010. Any authorised personnel can use an in-place e-discovery to search one or more mailboxes in the Exchange organisation and see mailbox items resulting from the search query. So what we have here is I've come into my Active Directory Domain Controller. I've come to Discovery Management Group within the Microsoft Exchange Security Groups. We click on Members and we can see April Reagan is a member of this group. So select OK. One of the other things we've done is if I just come to Internet Explorer, I've already launched up the Exchange Admin Center, logged in as April, and as we can see here, April has her Compliance Management node, which allows her to do an in-place e-discovery, but also as well hold, and in an earlier demo, we did set up an in-place hold for a user called Amra. So what we're gonna do at this point here is we're now just gonna to come to our client machine. We've logged in as a user called Ali, and Ali is now gonna send an email. So, and she's gonna send that to a user called Aiden, and the subject will be, don't pass this on. And then what we'll do here is we'll just put my password is, and then we'll specify the password. And then we'll select send. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we've come into our compliance audit. We need to see if any of the users are passing their passwords around, because that is in um, contradiction to our IT policy. So what we'll do is we'll just come back to LonDC1 here. What we're going to do is we're now going to come into Compliance Management and click our plus button. And then what we want to do here is we want to create our new in-place e-discovery and hold. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to call this password search. And then we're not going to bother with the description, select next. We want to do it for all mailboxes because we don't know who's been potentially passing passwords. Select our next button. And then what we want to do here is we want to do a filter based on certain criteria. And we'll do that based on password. We'll select our message types. And what we'll do here is we'll select message types. Let's do email. Let's do notes. And let's do documents. Now we've done that, we'll select OK. And then we'll select next. We're not going to bother with any in-place hold. This is purely e-discovery. And now we'll select Finish. So as we can see, we've now completed this operation. So we'll now select Close. So one of the things you can see here currently now, we've got the search statuses estimate is currently in process. So if we click our little refresh button here, estimate has now succeeded. Scroll this down a little bit. Let's just preview our search results. Uh, one of the things we can see here is Ali. Yes, Ali, yeah, my password is password. Ali, yet again, yeah, my password is password. My password is password. My password is password. And we can see Ali sent to Aiden, to Aiden, to Aiden, to Aiden. So at this point, we can now go and explain to Ali, yet again, she shouldn't be passing her passwords by using email. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.